Hello student, welcome to the lecture on budget and after this lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain the concept of budget, define the budgeting, explain the types of budgets, describe the zero-based budgeting, explain the problems with zero-based budgeting. Let's start with budgets concept and types. A budget is a financial plan for the future concerning the revenues and costs of a business. Budgets for income or revenue and expenditure are prepared in advance and then compared with actual performance to establish any variances. Budgetary control is the process by which financial control is exercised within an organization. Managers are responsible for controllable costs within their budgets and are required to take remedial actions of the adverse variances arise and they are considered excessive. Concept of budget A budget is a financial plan for future activities. It is a plan for saving, borrowing and spending. The budgets used in business often include a sales or revenues budget detailed by products or services, production budgets, budget for each department in the company, cash budget, capital expenditure budget and others. The combination of all the budget is referred to as the company's master budget or profit plan. Budgets help management decide which activities it will undertake and how the company's resources will be used. Budgets can also exist in controlling the actual costs because managers realize that the cost of their activities will be compared to the budget. The main characteristic of a budget are it is prepared in advance as derived from the long-term strategy of the organization. It relates to future period for which objectives or goals have already been laid down. Advantages of budget Why is budgeting money important? When you budget money, you are giving yourself more room for error in life. When you budget the amount of money you spend, you are always in a much better position financially overall. Another greater reason why you should budget your money is based on the spending side. The variety of tools and techniques that you can use if you want to start budgeting your funds. But first, one of the best first step you can take if when you are budgeting money, you are capable of finding the areas of life where you are spending money on unnecessary expenses. Budgeting Business budgeting is one of the most powerful financial tools available to any small business owner. Most effective financial budget includes both a short-range month-to-month plan for at least one calendar year and a long-range quarter-to-quarter plan we use for financial statement reporting. Long-range plan should cover a period of at least three years some go up to five years on a quarterly basis or even an annual basis. Budgeting control. The exercise of control in the organization with the help of budgets is known as budgetary control. System of creating budgets, monitoring, progress and taking appropriate action to achieve budgeted performance. A budget should provide the information necessary to enable approval authorization and policy making bodies to access a project proposal and reach a rational decision. The process of budgetary control includes preparation of various budgets, continuous comparison of actual performance with budgetary performance and revision of budgets in the right of change circumstances organization for budgeting. The setting up of a definite plan of organization is the first step towards installing budgeting controlled system in an organization. Responsibility for budgeting The responsibility for preparation and implementation of the budgets may be fixed as under budget controller. Although the chief executive is finally responsible for the budget program, it is better if a large part of the supervisory responsibility is delegated to an official designated as budget controller or budget director. Budget committee. The budget controller is assisted in his work by the budget committee. 
The committee may consist of heads of various departments, namely production, sales, finance, personal, purchase, etc., with the budget controller as its chairman. It is generally the responsibility of the budget committee to submit, discuss, and finally approve the budget figures. Fixation of the budget period. Budget period means the period for which a budget is prepared and employed. The budget period depends upon the nature of the business and the control techniques. Budget procedures. Budgeting process is a systematic activity that develops a plan for the expenditure of a usually fixed resource such as money or time during a given period to achieve a desired result. Key factor. It is also termed as limiting factor. The extent of influence of these factors must first be accessed in order to ensure that the budget targets are met. Making a forecast. A forecast is an estimate of the future financial conditions or operating results. An estimate differs from a budget in that the latter embodies an operating plan of an organization. A forecast may be prepared in financial or physical terms for sales, production, costs or other resources required for business. Preparing Budgets After the forecasts have been finalized, the preparation of budget follows. The budget activity starts with the preparation of the sales budget. Then production budget is prepared on the basics of sales budget and the production capacity available. Financial budget, that is cash or working capital budget, will be prepared on the basic of sales forecast and production budget. All these budgets are combined and coordinated into a master budget. Some of the things you might want to consider is the equipment or the plant or the project that I'm looking at investing, is technology going to affect this down the road? If so, when will it affect? For instance, if you had an uh, automobile building plant and you were still making uh, Model T's in today's environment, you probably wouldn't be too successful other than an antique car. Those are the type of things you'd be looking at at a capital budget. So, takes a little homework, but basically the concept's the same. What are you going to lay out? What do you expect to get back in? And is it profitable? My name is Bill Ray. I'm with Alumni Financial Services. And as always, Advantages of Budgetary Control. The budgetary control system helps in the fixing the goals for the organization as a whole and concerted efforts made for its achievement. Some of the advantages of budgetary control are maximization of profit. The budgetary control aims at the maximization of profits of the enterprise. To achieve this aim, a proper planning and coordination of different functions is undertaken. Coordination. The coordination of various executives and subordinates is necessary for achieving budgeted targets, specific aims. The efforts are directed towards achieving some specific aims. If there is no definite aim, then the efforts will be wasted in pursuing different aims. Economy. The planning of expenditure will be systematic and there will be economy in spending. Determining weakness. The deviation in budgeted and actual performance will enable the determination of weak spots. Corrective action. The management will be able to take corrective measures whenever there is a discrepancy in performance. Types of budgets. Different types of budgets are described as follows. Master budget. Master budget is a combination of all other budgets prepared for a specific period. It shows the overall budget plan. All the budgets are coordinated into one harmonious unit. It is prepared by the budget officer and it requires approval of the budget committee before it is put into operation. Sales budget. The sales budget is usually the keystone in planning and control of operation of a business. Sales forecast serves as a base for the sales budget. The sales manager should be made directly responsible for the preparation and execution of sales budget. Production budget. The production budget is a forecast of the production for the budget period. It provides an estimate of the total volume of production 
product wise with the scheduling of operation by days weeks and month and also forecast of the closing finished product inventory the factory manager is a person generally made responsible for its preparation administration and execution materials budget material budget can be prepared on the basics of standards or historical data regarding percentage of raw materials to total cost adjusted for current price and normal wastage of material purchase budget purchase budget gives the details of material purchases to be made in the budget period Purchase budget enables the budget officer to provide funds in the cash budget according to delivery schedules, terms of payment and credit period. Direct labor budget. The direct labor budget tells about the estimates of direct labor requirements essentials for carrying out the budgeted output. The purpose of this budget is to ensure optimum utilization of labor force. Cash budget. A cash budget is a summary statement of the firm's expected cash inflows and outflows over a projected time period. The overall objective of a cash budget is to enable the firm to meet all its commitments in time and at the same time prevent accumulation of unnecessary large balance with it. Fixed budget A fixed budget is a budget which is designed to remain unchanged irrespective of the level of activity actually attained. Fixed budget is useful when there is no significant variation between the budgeted output and the actual output. Flexible budget. Flexible budget also known as variable or sliding sale budget is a budget which is designed to furnish budgeted costs for any level of activity actually attained. A flexible budget is a budget designed to change in accordance with the level of activity actually attained. A flexible budget is more realistic, useful and practical. The likely changes in the actual circumstances are taken into account while preparing a flexible budget. Advantages of the master budget The master budget allows managers to re-evaluate their plans either starting with their current activities or start from zero, zero-based budgeting, justifying all activities that do not start at zero. Master budget can also be used as a form of benchmarking. Disadvantages of the master budget. It includes the lack of participating from subordinates, misleading information and difficulty of acquiring accurate and reliable information. Zero-based budgeting. Zero-based budgeting, ZBB, is an alternative approach that is sometimes used particularly government and not-for-profit sectors of the economy. Creating a forecast for what we're anticipating will happen in the future. And we're looking at exactly what we've done in the past, what changes we're going to make in the future. Well, in zero-based budgeting, we take a very different approach because in zero-based budgeting, what we're focused on is not so much what we've done in the past, but what we need to use for the future. So all costs have to be justified on a line item by line item basis. Any costs that cannot be justified are automatically taken down to zero. This changes everything. It really requires us to think and look back at the best utilization of our resources. One of the big problems in traditional budgeting is the tendency to look at what we've used before and just add a certain margin for the growth without ever looking at whether or not we need to spend what we spent before. So this forces us to be more efficient and more effective in the use of our resources. In fact, in many cases with zero-based budgeting, we can actually produce more in the next period than we did in the last period, spending the same or even less, because what we're really effectively doing is eliminating waste. Advantages of ZBB Alternatives analysis, the ZBB, requires that managers identify alternative ways to perform each activity, such as keeping it in-house or outsourcing it, as well as effects of different levels of spending. Budget inflation. Since manager must tie expenditures to activities, it becomes less likely that they can artificially inflate their budgets. The change is too easy to spot. Communication. 
the ZBB should spark a significant debate among the management team about the corporate mission and how it is to be achieved. Mission Focus Since the ZBB concept requires managers to link expenditures to activities, they are forced to define the various missions of their departments, which might otherwise be poorly defined. Required Review Using ZBB on a regular basics makes it more likely that all aspects of a company will be examined periodically. Resource Allocation If the process is conducted with the overall corporate mission and objectives in mind, an organization should end up with strong targeting of funds in those areas where they are most needed. Disadvantages or limitation of ZBB Difficult to define decision units and decision packages as it is time-consuming and exhaustive. Forced to justify every detail related to expenditure, the research and development R&D department is threatened whereas the production department benefits. The ZBB must be clearly understood by managers at various levels to be successfully implemented. In a large organization, the volume of forms may be so large that no one person could read it all. Honesty of the managers must be reliable and uniform. Any manager that exaggerates skews the results. Summary Let us now summarize what we have learned in this section. A budget is a financial plan for and cause of a business. Budgetary control to the process by which financial control is exercised within an organization. Business budgeting is one of the most powerful financial tools available to any small business owner. Budgeting process is a systematic activity that develops a plan for the during a given period to achieve a desired result. Master budget is a combination of all other budgets prepared for a specific period. The sales budget is prepared in quantitative terms of the units expected to be sold and the value expected to be realized. The material budget generally deals only with the direct materials. Zero-based budgeting ZBB is an alternative approach that is sometimes used particularly in government and not-for-profit sectors of the economy.